The other children go home. We must go down and take a look at our little friends before we do anything else, said Mr. Waka. He pressed a different button and the elevator dropped lower and soon it was hovering just above the entrance gates to the factory. Looking down now, Charlie could see the children and their parents standing in a little group just inside the gates. I can only see three, he said. Who's missing? I expect it's Mike TV, Mr. Wonka said, but he'll be coming along soon. Do you see the trucks? Mr. Wonka pointed to a line of gigantic covered vans parked in a line nearby. Yes, said Charlie. What are they for? Don't you remember what it said with the golden ticket? Every child goes home with a lifetime supply of candy. There's one truckload for each of them, loaded to the brim. Aha, Mr. Wonka went on. There goes our friend Augustus Gloop. Do you see him? He's getting into the first truck with his mother and father. You mean he's really all right, asked Charlie, astonished, even after going up that awful pipe? He's very much all right, said Mr. Wonka. He's changed, said Grandpa Joe, peering down through the glass wall of the elevator. He used to be fat. Now he's as thin as a straw. Of course he's changed, said Mr. Wonka, laughing. There's a picture. He got squeezed in the pipe. Don't you remember? And look, there goes Violet Beauregard, the green gu great gum chewer. It seems as though they managed to dejuice her. And after all, I'm so glad. And how healthy she looks. Much better than before. But she's still purple in the face, cried Grandpa Joe. So she is. Oh, well, there's nothing we can do about that. Goodness gracious, said Charlie. Look at poor Veruca Salt and Mr. and Mrs. Salt. They're simply covered with garbage. And here comes Mike TV. Good gracious. What have they done? He's 10 feet tall and thin as a wire. They're overstretched him on the gum stretching machine, said Mr. Wonka. How very careless. But how dreadful for him, said Charlie. Nonsense, said Mr. Wonka. He's very lucky. Every basketball team in the country will be trying to get him. But now, he added, it's time we left those four silly children. I have something very important to talk to you about, my dear Charlie. Mr. Wonka pressed another button and the elevator swung upwards into the sky.